What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Level Up. The Level Up is a show where we take common and popular exercises and show you the tips and tricks necessary to take them to the next level. I'm Coach Ron, and today we're going to be looking at the seated shoulder press. Now, the seated shoulder press is one of the most common exercises you're going to see for shoulder training. You'll see it in and out of almost every single gym, and it's so common and so ubiquitous, you're probably thinking, can we make it better? Well, the answers are resounding yes. And today I'm going to show you one of the ways we can do that. One of the ways we can adjust this common exercise is to change our leverage and change our setup. So one of the things I like to do is a variation called the Y press. Now in the Y press, what I like to do is instead of pressing from here straight up overhead is I actually shift my thumb all the way inside that dumbbell. So that went all the way up against that inside plate here. And instead of taking that 90 degree position, I'm going to take my arm further down into extension there at the shoulder angle. And what I'm going to do is instead of pressing straight up, I'm going to press up and actually outwards. So slightly abducting that weight. And what that does is it lengthens the leverage angle between the dumbbell and my shoulder itself, right? And now the entire time my arm is up here, you can see a little struggle already coming in. My anterior deltoid is going to have to function at a much higher output to keep that dumbbell from continuing to abduct and just fall away from the body, right? As opposed to coming straight up and down where now my bones are stacked right under that weight, right against the line of gravity, giving me a lot of assistance. So as soon as I begin to abduct that weight, it becomes significantly more difficult. So when setting up that Y press, what I'm gonna do first is instead of having my hands dead centered, I'm gonna shift the thumbs all the way up here to the inside of the dumbbell, right? So here, so even more of that dumbbell is outside of the shoulder joint. Instead of starting here at 90, I'm bringing this guy all the way down and slightly out. To reiterate, instead of pressing straight up here, we're going to bring that thumb in all the way to that inside plate. I'm going to externally rotate my elbow a bit farther and actually adduct here at the tricep and lat as I press up and out, maintaining a slow, controlled tempo and really making those shoulders work. One of the great things about the Y press, as I said before, it can make weight feel a lot heavier, a lot quicker. So I can take something like say 30, where if I'm here, I can kind of pump them out, pretty comfortable, go deep water on that side, but not really get the kind of strength adaptation I'm looking for. We can push that guy out, start from that deeper position, and now slow my execution way down, right? With that slower execution. So we're taking that lever, making it longer, increasing our time under tension, therefore requiring more torque to get the movement done. And that is how we level up an exercise. Taking something that's good, making it even better. So I know what you're thinking. Can this slight change in angle really make that big of a difference? Well, to that I say yes. And more importantly, give it a try. This Y press is one of the variations that we can take a very small change and show our clients just how much room there is in every single exercise to modify and progress and regress the movement. It's going to take your client's shoulder training to the next level. So that's it for today's episode. We looked at the shoulder press, specifically its modification of the Y press. We looked at how adjusting our hand setup, our angle of the press, as well as the motion of the press can adjust our time under tension and increase the torque necessary at the working muscles. Leave a comment below, let me know what you wanna see next. Like the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss out on any of our new content. And make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Kips Online. So level up, this has been Coach Ron. I'll see you next time.